Good afternoon and thank you for joining us. I'm Angelique Lazardi. The news for Tucson School Supply Drive is here and all this week our team will be out live at five of the largest public school districts here in southern Arizona. Along with our community partners, we are collecting donated school supplies for thousands of local students here. Storm Tracker 4 meteorologist Daniel McFarland is live right now at the Amphit. Theater Middle School, where donations have been gradually rolling in throughout the day. So are we seeing any more donations so far, Daniel? Oh yeah, Angelique, in the past five minutes, we've had a couple people roll up and drop off some school supplies. And it's been a great turnout so far, but keep in mind, we still have over three hours for you to come by and drop off some more donations. So there is still gonna be time for you to go pick some up. And so to talk more about the need here in this district, I'm gonna go ahead and bring in Kathy, who is an assistant principal at the middle school, and really just looking around, what's been the biggest need for the students here? I think backpacks, pencils, um, the basic stationery, but um, we also think that students really need a refillable water bottle because we do have the stations here and it gets really hot. Um, even earbuds for technology when we do reading and other activities. Yeah, it's funny you say that because I know a lot of people when they were going to school, even like say 10 years ago if they were in middle school at that point in time, Technology's really changed. You're using computers for most of the classes mm -hmm. now, aren't they? Yes, yes. They use it in all their classes, but it isn't the primary thing, but occasionally they have to do independent activities, and those, that, those earbuds really help. Mm -hmm. And so when it comes to classroom supplies, obviously you can't do things like math or any kind of real good science work on it. So paper, pencil still needed. I'm seeing a mechanical number two pencils. Are number two pencils still kind of needed for the standardized testing? It's good to have a backlog of them? Yes, yes, those are great. Kids actually prefer them, um, but the number two is usually when you do the paper test, but a lot of our tests have gone to the computer. So what we still need everything, though, for everyday use. All right, perfect. Thank you so Thank much, you. Kathy. And it's really hot outside, so if you want to come by, remember you can just drive right on up next to us and drop off that bag. 